Hello friends, this is the PPT Pro with another tutorial. Today I'm bringing you the most requested presentation that you have all been asking for. So grab a seat, get yourself a warm cup of coffee or water and enjoy this tutorial. And before we begin, I'm excited to announce that my course is finally here. It includes everything you need to become a PowerPoint professional, from manipulating shapes to working with the 3D models. Check it out on my beautiful website, thepptpro.com. So first, we'll start by searching for the 3D model of a human cell on Sketchfab website. Once we have chosen the model we like, we'll go ahead and download it in GLB format. Now let's switch over to PowerPoint, our playground. First we will set the background color to black. Then next we will locate the 3D model we just downloaded and drag and drop it directly onto the slide. Easy. And finally we resize it to fit just the way we want. So the most important element is on our slide. So let's start designing the first slide. First, we will position the 3D model as shown. And next, we will copy the title and the text from the existing presentation and paste them into our new slide. I'll do some tweaks here to the 3D model. Then I'll just copy paste those guys to our presentation and make sure to use the same font for uh, consistent consistency yeah that's it and we will also copy and paste the dna illustration and send it to back layers and that completes our first slide. Don't worry about the font details, you will find all that information in the description box. So once we have finished designing the first slide, we'll duplicate it by holding Ctrl and D. Nice. Then we'll temporarily hide the 3D model so we can focus on the design of the second slide. Oh, let's move that DNA illustration out of frame then let's get rid of uh, those text and title so as you can see on the already done presentation here we need a title and a gradient rectangle black that will become important later now let's go to our presentation then insert a new text box with the title human cell structure So we we'll set the text color to white and ensure it matches the font used in the previous slide's title. Nice. Now let's add a rectangle to the top of the slide and apply a gradient fill to it. So to do this we will go to format shape then select gradient fill then remove any extra gradient stop in the middle. So after that we will add two black gradient stops and set one of them to 100% transparency. Then we'll bring the title to the front and remove any outlines from the rectangle. So once that done, we'll bring back the 3D model and adjust it so that these appear zoomed in. Just like in the already done presentation right here. So to create the zoomed in effect, we need to scale up the 3D model on the slide and select a convenient view. As you can see here so then we will go to the pen and zoom option 
then click on zoom icon and drag it upward to achieve the desired framing from here we're gonna choose a clear view to help us showcase our information so now that we have finished placing the 3d model on the second slide let's add the necessary information so we'll start by inserting a line to highlight the first element of the 3d model and after that uh, we're gonna make sure it's white and we set its weight to one point To do the weight part, let's go to format shape and decrease its weight. So next we'll insert another line targeting the center right there and give it the same one point width. Yay! And the coloring of course. So after that we can simply copy and paste the title and description for that or for each element from the completed presentation. So, now that the second slide is finished, let's move on to the third one. As you can see on the completed presentation, we will aim to replicate that design with the same elements and information. So first we'll duplicate the slide and then remove the lines and descriptions from it. And now we'll adjust the 3D model to showcase different elements. We'll follow the same process we used on the second slide, but this time we'll zoom in even more to make those elements clear. So now that we have found a good position for the 3D model, it's time to add descriptions for its elements. I'm just gonna copy and paste the descriptions onto the slide and position them so that they are clear and easy to read so let's put them right there and i'll try to find a clear position for them so they can be readable So once we have the descriptions in place, we'll add highlight lines to connect each description to its corresponding element in the 3D model. This line will have the, sorry, this lines will have the same parameters as before with a width of one point. So now that we have finished the third slide, let's move on to the final one where we showcase the plasma borders or the cells borders. Sorry. First, we'll duplicate the third slide and then zoom out slightly so that the outlines of the human cell are visible. As you can see here. Then we will choose a good position for the new description so that it stands out against the black background. So here let's clear some space at the left bottom of the slide so we can put our description. So once we have a good position 
what I'm gonna do here is to copy paste the description from the completing presentation then put it there so after copying the description onto the slide we will add a highlight line to connect it to the edges of the cell ensuring that the line has the same parameters as the previous ones so now it comes to the animation part the first thing to do is to group the lines and the descriptions together so to do that hold the control or shift key and select both of the description and the lines then press control plus g to group them So the animation is simple, we will add a wipe animation and adjust the direction according to the line's orientation. So for example, if the line moves from left to right, we choose the left direction for the wipe. And of course, we will set each animation to start with previous. And we repeat this process for the other elements on the other slides, making sure to adjust the direction of the wipe each time we add the animation. And here comes the final element. And from here, we're gonna move to the second part of the animations, which is very simple, the morph transition. To do that, let's select all slides, then go to transition, then hit morph. And we need to adjust the duration to one second and voila. And that's it for the tutorial you have all been waiting for. I hope you enjoy it. And if you did, don't hesitate to hit the like button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.